We now have the fastest performance mod that has ever existed for Minecraft. First Optifine, then Sodium, and now Vulcan. The name itself doesn't really suggest much, but I promise it's a performance mod and it's supposed to be really good. Just look at this promotional video. It showcases someone in Minecraft version, I'm gonna say 1.16, somewhere around that, because it was two years ago. Look at the FPS they're getting. They're getting over 600 FPS on fancy graphics, which is very good. They've also recently updated to Minecraft version 1.21.1, so it's up to date. Now what I'm curious about is whether this mod's going to give you more FPS than Sodium, the leading performance mod, and better yet, are they both compatible with one another? Okay, so right now I have Sodium installed and I've disabled Vulcan. Let's see how much FPS I can get. In this specific test, I have no other mods installed. So it's purely just Sodium. I'm gonna create a world with the amplified world type to really test my PC. And on top of that, I've set my render distance to 32. Now without moving at all, my FPS is now at a stable 140, 150 FPS. So that's pretty good. What if I just start moving around? My FPS is still constantly above 100 and close to how it was when it was completely staying still. Oh, way to go, Sodium! A stable 144 FPS, which is the speed of my monitor. Oh, it's buttery smooth. Now let's go over to Vulcan. I've now enabled Vulcan, disabled Sodium, and installed an FPS display mod, so I can see my FPS without clicking F3. Don't worry, it shouldn't slow down my Minecraft. I don't know if this was the mod or not, but for some reason it launched my Minecraft in 4K resolution. So, oh my goodness, they changed the settings. Jeez, look at this. Okay, so I get the option to change my resolution over here, and of course you can see that it's set to 4k let me turn it down to the regular 1920 by 1080 all right my refresh rate is now at 144 perfect vsync is on and i'm not actually sure if it was on before it'll keep it on for now i'm actually gonna recreate the world and see what the difference is okay so right off the bat i'm getting 144 fps just like before so let's move around a little bit they get a little bit of stuttering but that's not unlike laptops whoa i'm actually noticing a lot stabler fps than sodium i mean it is negligible but still 144 solid even even while moving around and it's got me sold this is really good my fps is not going below 143 which sodium cannot say it does now let's try to use both of them at the same time it probably won't work but let's figure it out just as i suspected it crashed so they're not compatible with one another now i'm gonna do a stress test for sodium i'm just going to create a super flat world with sand as the only layer i am noticing my fps already at 35 and i haven't seen any oh there it is okay so my fps is around 30 now it's at five four okay so sodium definitely cannot handle this falling sand very well. I mean, I am able to still run my Minecraft, but it's at 2, 1 FPS. It's really slow. It's safe to say this is unplayable. But as soon as I look up, my FPS spikes up to 67, 87. Oh, and we're back to normal. But if I look back down again, okay, we're looking good. But that's just because the falling sand has completely dissipated. Now that we're back to normal, let's go back to Vulcan and see how we can handle the stress test. Bring it on. All right, here we go. I start off with 30 FPS. Now I've got 130. Okay. Okay, let's see 144 okay now a village is spawning so right now since no falling sand is occurring i'm getting a solid 120 fps but what happens if i break one 90 50 16 15 5 4 and it's back to one so i'm not actually seeing a lot of the sand falling and it didn't do that for sodium now i'm at a solid zero fps okay and now i'm back to normal getting up to 144 fps that was pretty quick but it was also pretty quick for sodium as well so it's very Similar. Okay, now I've just turned off VSync, and my FPS is skyrocketing over 600 FPS with Vulcan. But as soon as I start moving, it goes down to 300. Still very good. VSync doesn't make much of a difference in the sand world. Okay, now this is sodium without VSync, and it's giving me a solid 300 FPS. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Okay, I have a verdict. So, which FPS mod is faster, sodium or Vulcan? Oh my goodness, Vulcan. And a huge margin, too. Look, I'm running sodium, and I'm getting a solid 200, maybe 180 FPS sometimes even 300 but over in vulcan i was getting 600 fps that is huge the only downside to vulcan is you need a gpu that supports vulcan i clearly do it's so worth it i think it's safe to say that vulcan is twice as fast as sodium that's insane but if your computer supports it use it wow now one thing to test is definitely its compatibility i'm not sure if it's going to be compatible with a lot of mods so be on the lookout for that but all things being said and done vulcan is definitely really big and i'll definitely be using it if it's compatible with all the other mods that I usually use. Oh yeah, and speaking of awesome FPS mods, make sure to install the mod Pigium, because I made it and it's awesome. Subscribe for daily shorts, weekly videos, and weekly streams.